Hello everybody, I'm El Bristo. welcome to Elotopia Gaming, and welcome to another first play episode. We are having a look today at Peri Arion. Peri Arion. I think that's right. I apologise to developers if I've uh, mispronounced that. This is a Mars colonisation game from TBA Games. This is the first time that I have started up this game. I don't really know what to expect, but I've looked at screenshots and things. It looks very interesting. Let's have a look at this and see what we can find. So, we're starting a new game. Uh, click and drag the planet to locate a landing site. Left click a landing icon to see information on the site. So, oh, I see. We can spin the world around. Um, What have we got? This is Candor Chasm A. Candor Chasm. Oh, Chasma. Okay. <laughs> Candor Chasma is part of the Val Marineris Canyon system, which stretches for over 4,000 kilometers from the Tharsis Uplands in the west to the Kreis Plains in the northeast. Hazards found in Candor include frequent dust storms and radiation exposure and rock slides. Difficulty easy sounds good let's just have a look oh okay let's have a look see if there's anything that's that's medium easy hard okay so let's let's start with the easy one shall we select crew select your crew left click on a colonist to enter crew selection Use the arrows to cycle through prospective colonists. Left click, select colonists to choose. Okay, so. Science, engineering, athleticism, charisma and endurance. So this person doesn't have a lot of charisma or engineering skill, but has lots of the others. That guy's a bit more average across the board. That one's... Uh, quite average across the board and has endurance that one has engineering and athleticism uh, that doesn't sound like a British person engineering and athleticism um, not great with science not great with endurance that does sound like a British person um, Chinese person we've got uh, science engineering athleticism charisma endurance so in charisma is not so great athleticism not so great so let's go for let's oh uh, there's lots of people to choose from okay um, okay so I saw one back here uh, this guy was kind of average athleticism's not great um, I'm not really too sure exactly what all these things do and in fact let's let's have a look it tells us science colonists with high science stat can perform module research more efficiently. Each point in science lowers the time needed to gain experience from researching, okay? Engineering is used by colonists when constructing or repairing the base. Colonists with points in engineering take less time to build and repair modules. The athleticism stat is perfect for colonists that spend a lot of time outside the base exploring. Higher values give a greater move speed bonus. Charisma is important stat for garnering funding for your mission. Ah, interesting. High charisma translates into more funding rewarded from a science from assignments and points of interest. Endurance determines how tough your colonists are. More endurance points increases maximum health. So, what I'm thinking is endurance, athleticism, and science. If we go with that one, that's 20 in those three, and then we need someone with 20 in engineering and charisma. Or someone with 20 in either or. There's 20 with charisma. What was that? Why was he red? Oh, already selected. I see. I've gone round. Um, okay, so let's have... He's... Uh, see, he's the British guy and he's not really that good. Okay, this Chinese lady. She, she looks okay. She's got 20 in engineering and she's got some, some fairly good other stats. Um, so now we need... Where was the one with 20 charisma? There it is. Uh, also has endurance and science. Not so great with engineering and athleticism. Canadian guy. Okay. Yeah, I could I could associate high charisma with a Canadian guy. There we go. Um, and then let's just have kind of an average across the board. There we go. This guy, Cuban. Guy, lady, sorry. Cuban lady. 
uh, kind of average across the board, but good endurance. So there we go. We have four people, one guy, three ladies. I, I assume that's a lady. It looks like a lady. Um, I apologize if you're not a lady. Um, so there we go. We've got four colonists. Continue. Uh, casual, normal, or hard? Uh, let's go with casual for now and see what that does. Loading. Orbiting. We are going around the sun in a very strange rotation because we appear to be spinning on the wrong axis. Welcome to Perry Arion Antarctic Training Simulation. In this simulation you will learn some basic policies and procedures of Mars survival in preparation for your mission. Left click to proceed. First and foremost, Mission Control has provided you with a handy reference to life on Mars in the form of the Perry Arypedia. Just in case Perry you know that wasn't hard enough to say Perry Ariopedia click the round button in the upper right hand corner of, that's left that's the upper left hand corner sorry guys in the upper right stroke left hand corner of the screen to open it if you need help with anything refer to the Perry Ariopedia in the top left hand corner Next to the Perry Aripedia, you can find how many days you have spent on Mars, as well as current weather. Keep an eye out for hazardous conditions that threaten your colony. Below, you can find the amount of funding your mission has. Funding has be, can be used to purchase extra supplies from Earth, flat pack module upgrades, or new colonists. Earn extra funding by exploring and performing assignments. Okay. In addition to funding, your colony will need resources, which are displayed here. Resources are used to build module upgrades and perform tasks needed to keep your colony functioning. From left to right, these are ice, hematite, phyllosilicates, and sulfates. They can be found scattered around the surface of Mars, just kind of lying around. Rations, food, water and power must be continually generated through specific modules. Rations help keep your colonists alive from day to day, so keep an eye on those numbers. If any of these reach zero, your colonists will die. More detailed information about your landing site can be accessed by opening the map overview screen. The map will show discovered resources, POIs and assignments. Hovering over map icons will show information and objectives. Additionally, the quick bar provides easy access to your research, construction and colony menus. When a module colonist, when a module colonist or rover is selected, the indicator in the upper right-hand corner, it is the right-hand corner this time, shows health, air, and or how many colonists are in the module. Your camera will always center on your current selection. Remember, a healthy module is a functioning module and one that doesn't suck people out into space. Right now you have the lander module selected. All your colonists are inside. Left click the lander, click the lander button or press C to enter the lander module. So there we are. Begin by clicking your lander to enter your base. While inside your base, left click the colonist portraits to drag and drop colonists onto tasks and icons to direct them to direct them. Now try dragging a colonist onto the base airlock. Is that down there? Is that that down there? I believe. Um, so you there we go, move to airlock. Your colonist has exited the airlock. Close the base screen to go outside and give them orders. There you are. You now have a colonist outside. Oh, I clicked them and I didn't see what it said to do. Oh, you have selected your colonist. With your colonist selected, right click the terrain to move. Yes. Okay. Oh, nice little strut you got there. Mm, All mm, right. mm, 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 mm. The camera will always follow a colonist as they walk. You can rotate the camera by pressing Q or E. Or something else that I didn't read. Pressing tab or shift and tab will cycle through outside colonists, rovers and the lander. Try pressing tab to cycle your selection. Tab and shift tab, okay. What are my orders? Good. This is a mineral node, one of the many resources located... Okay. Select a colonist and then right click the mineral node to begin mining. What are my orders? Okay, so where are we... How, how do I get there? Arrow key? No. Do I just have to walk you over there? Okay. That's, um, okay, mining, okay. Pressing the left control button will light up nearby resources, making them easier to spot, okay. 
these messages disappear very quickly. Resources are primarily used in the construction of modules. Left click the build button in the bottom bar or press B to begin the construction process. So that's build. This is your construction menu. Here you will order the flat pack kits from Earth to build modules and upgrades. Build an agri module by left clicking the green agricultural icon next to the building portrait. That one, okay. This is the base agricultural module. It contains sufficient supplies to begin small scale food production. Once inflated, the dome will provide space for planting foods such as lettuce, tomatoes and herbs and other assorted vegetables, which supplement main rations for up to four people. Failure to construct this module will result in starvation. Only if they eat. Um, you have now attached a new construction site to your base. Now order a colonist to build the module. All right, okay. You can, okay. Not so keen on the map controls. But there you go. You can go and build that. I don't remember what her skills were. She is rubbish at engineering, so that will probably take her a long time. You've attached a new... Uh, oh, yeah, I read that bit. Okay, build it. Build it, lady. If you build it, they will come. Um, would be nice to be able to see the stats of these guys while they're in here. But let's take him out. What do you need? He is also rubbish at engineering. Where's our engineer? Was it you? Yeah, you're our engineer, so you should have been building that. The camera will always follow a colonist. Yeah, I've done that bit. What is it? Build it. Build it. Yes. Okay, come on, hurry up. Uh, yeah, I've already done that. Hmm? I've done that bit. This is a mineral node. Ha, ha, right. What's that? Oh, okay, that's the... Right, agricultural mode module has finished construction. And people appear to be stuck inside it. Hmm? Okay, then. There we go. Pathfinding, not fantastic, but... Select the corners to have them move and perform actions. Yes. yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I appear to be stuck somewhere yes. in the. Yes. 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 What do you need? Yes. Yes. Um. All right. I, I appear to be stuck in the tutorial somewhere because I did something yes. it wasn't expecting me to do. What if you go back in there? Can you go back in there? Right away. Get back in there. Get back in there. No? What do you need? Roger that. Enter base. Enter base. No? Right away. How about you? Enter base? Yeah, you'll enter the base. What do you need? Roger that. Okay. Hmm. Um so yes, we're kind of a little bit stuck because I, well, I partly blame myself, but uh, yeah, the, the tutorial didn't really allow for the fact that I might get two colonists out of the pod. Um, so I will send that feedback back to the developers um, and what I will do is I will restart this and come back to this uh, when, we're, when we're back at this point. Bear with me one moment. Okay, so I started the tutorial again and uh, I've used the engineer to build this uh, this agricultural dome this time. We're just about to be finished and hopefully this time the tutorial will progress. We have now attached a new construction site to your base. Now order a colonist to build the module. You have completed your agri-module, okay. You're running out of food, oh no. Running low on food. Head to your base and move a colonist to the... Uh, move a colonist to the agri-module thingy. Uh, you can do that. Go. 
Lady, go. Left click and drag a colonist into the harvest plants task. There we go. Your colonist has exited the airlock. Why? Um, harvesting plants has earned your colony, your colony experience. To spend experience points, open the research tree by left clicking the icon in the bottom left bar. That would be this one. You have enough EXP points to purchase the first upgrade in the colony tree. Earn different types of experience to unlock different trees. Okay, so let's spend some points. Morale 1 lowers the time needed to perform colony tasks by 10%. Good. And I can't afford that. It's sticking up pretty quickly though. This concludes your training simulation. Exit the research tree to begin your Mars mission. Oh, okay. Your goal is now to set up a sustainable Mars colony. Survive on Mars and earn enough colony experience to unlock a specialization in the research tree. Each specialization will provide you with a different path to sustainability and victory. Left click to end the tutorial. So that's the end of the tutorial and we are left to fend for ourselves on the surface of Mars. So... Uh, it's an interesting game. I think it still has some bugs. This is uh, a pre-release version of the game that I'm using. It's uh, currently on Steam Greenlight. So uh, expect you know, a few of these bugs to have been fixed by the time this actually gets released. Ooh, we have a cutscene. Attitude is stable. Defending at 70 meters per second. Downrange distance to landing site. Well, there you go. That was an interesting little uh, cutscene. So this is obviously where you actually start playing the game. Um, and uh, as I was saying, this is an early release of the game. It's not. Uh, it's not even on Steam yet. It's part of the Steam Greenlight. It has been greenlit, but it's not yet available on Steam. Um, when it is, I will probably add a link to the description of this video so that you guys can have a look. And the, the developers have said that there are some bugs that they're working on. There's a couple of things that they're tidying up before it does actually hit Steam. So hopefully the, the issues that I had with the tutorial will have been fixed by then. The uh, the typo, the left-right thing, that should hopefully be fixed by then. Um, and then, you know, actually this game is, um, you know, it looks like it's got some promise. Um, I, will, uh, I will certainly keep track of this to see how this goes uh, post release and maybe I'll do another video later down the line once it has been released so that we can uh, well we can see how they did with fixing those issues that we came across in the interim I have been El Bristow you've been watching Elotopia Gaming thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you've liked this video and you'd like to see more if you want to see more of this particular game then please make sure that you leave a comment to let me know and I will see if I can produce another video otherwise please don't forget to check out our other videos on Elotopia Gaming we have uh, a fair few first play videos building up now and of course we have our Kerbal Space Program series that's the plural of series uh, both the uh, Colonizing Kerbals modded series and the uh, UHC series that I started recently. Check those out and uh, again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about uh, those videos. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you next time. See you later.